Hello, my name is Brescia Cook, and this is my last lecture. As a young baby, I was on to be a happy baby, very playful, joyful, had no problem with going to other people. I wouldn't cry if Chanel put me down. That's my mom. But as a young girl, I was very much goofy, bubbly, very friendly type of personality. I always had positive energy. In middle school, from a negative person's perspective, I was thought to be obnoxious, but I totally disagree. I felt like I had no problem with getting friends, you know, networking, doing what I needed to do, you know. I just always was friendly and bubbly, and I guess that ain't always a good thing, but hey, whatever. Family and love will always be the key to high school, not just in high school, but also in life. When you feel alone, no one to talk to, trust me, you'll have days where you feel that way. But they'll be the ones by your side and the ones that you can call on. My mom is one of the people I looked up to. Well, I still do. She's always been very motivated, headstrong, you know, determined. Anything she sets her mind to, she does. My dad told me, always stay prepared and stay one step ahead of the game. Without that advice, I don't know where I would be in high school. Because it did come in handy. And that's why you need a good support system. Friends... They play a big role in high school, and I mean a very big role. But don't let that oversee the main reason of high school. You're there to get your education. But you do realize a lot about yourself. You start to pay more attention to what loyalty is and how to be trustworthy, but you also see people for who they are. Those you come into high school with may not be the ones you leave high school with, and that is okay. You will always lose and gain friends for the rest of your life. It's just a part of growing up. And don't be such a negative Nancy and say, uh, I like to be alone. I don't need nobody. I'm fine by myself. Because then when you upset, sad, and depressed, your high school career ain't how you want to go. Just know it's because you wanted to be antisocial. So I wouldn't suggest that route. You need to forgive and move on, okay? I personally didn't have that many challenges in high school, but I felt as if my hair was one Um, from freshman to senior year till today, actually. My hair has took a drastic change. Um, I had a perm, and now I am full natural. Um, With that perm, my hair was very damaged, but look at me now. Healthy and beautiful. Um, The next four years of your life is going to be the best four years. And it's going to be like a drastic change. You know, you're getting your permit, license, new job. You know, it's about to be time for college and just a lot of stuff is coming up. And you're going to achieve a lot of things. And it's going to be probably the greatest moments of your life. And just know that hard work does not go unnoticed. And you also may have someone along the ride that you kind of like, you know, and that's okay. But just remember to remain focused and always keep your head in the books. Being a butler, it has made me the young lady that I am today, and I can't be more proud of her. Along this journey, it was definitely a roller coaster, but I'm happy and I strive to have a great butler day for the rest of my life. So I want to thank you for that.